Hey everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I've actually got this uh, title of the video up here right now. I want you to get involved here. Will SHIB be listed on Robinhood? And I mentioned here, details in this video will be posted soon. That's the video you're watching now. But you can head over to the Community tab and uh, take a vote here, yes or no. Love to hear from you here. Also, drop your comments down in addition to voting yes or no here. Just with your general thoughts, I'd love to hear from you. So. Uh, I'll be looking at that and responding to as many people as I can. So in this video, we're going to kind of do a brief update at, in terms of where we are with Robinhood, uh, potentially adding SHIB. Of course, we're waiting on a lot of different exchanges, whether it be Coinbase uh, or eToro. Uh, Robinhood is one of those main three. We've heard rumblings of uh, Weeble as well, but quite frankly, I'm just not as interested in Weeble as I am with the other three. Uh, for a few reasons. Weeble is more geared towards stocks, whereas Robinhood, uh, a lot of people would say, well, so is Robinhood, Zach. What do you mean? But they've made so much money off of Dogecoin. And uh, we're going to actually talk a little bit about that in this video and how I think they can also benefit from adding Shiba Inu as well. Once their IPO goes through, which uh, is right around the corner, by the way, they're supposed to go out with the, their IPO, uh, their initial price offering entering the stock market uh, a week from today. So uh, let's, let's hop into the petition here because this is something that's been going on for a little while and give you a brief update where we are in terms of the Robinhood uh, change.org petition. Already 172,728 people have signed. They're trying to get to 200,000. So this is another way that you can get involved uh, if you're part of the community, if you're a holder of the SHIB token, Head over here, and uh, I know most of you may maybe have already signed this, but if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and check this out. They still need 27,272 more signatures to reach the next goal, so uh, they're on a kind of a uh, you know trek toward 200,000 before that new goal is uh, set up here on Change.org. All right, so a couple articles here I want to touch on, and I've got some things highlighted here for you. Just pulled out some of the important pieces. Robinhood's crypto uh, trading division, Robinhood Crypto, is set to pay another $30 million settlement to the New York State Department of Financial Services, the NYDFS. And uh, this is, uh, you know, not the first time for Robinhood. Last December, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, Commission or the SEC, they slammed Robinhood for $65 million. Uh, the firm was said to have allegedly provided customers misleading information. Of course, many of you know what happened with the GME and the AMC saga, as well as Dogecoin. Uh, and uh, they basically said that there was misleading information about the revenue source in its communication with clients between 2015 and late 2018. Then last month, we saw the retail trading platform. They were asked to pay $70 million uh, in a penalty for its system-wide outages and false or misleading communication uh, related to trading practices. So uh, they have uh, not been new to... Um, battles with the government and the SEC here, but with all of that, uh, you know, behind them here, at least momentarily, they are pushing forward toward their plan for an IPO. So despite all of this legal and regulatory tussle, Robinhood is still going to go ahead and uh, move forward with trying to get to the NASDAQ next week. So uh, their big debut is slated for July 29th, which, which is a week um, after the time of this recording. And uh, this is uh, from a familiar source, according to CNN. So although Robinhood has not officially given a date for its initial public offering, this is said to be the date. If not this date, it'll be pretty close to it. Uh, so they're aiming at uh, raising $2.3 billion in the IPO that could uh, also value the controversial company at $35 billion. It's a far cry from where Coinbase was, but still, I think Robinhood can still be really big in terms of the SHIB token in particular, given how successful it was uh, with listing Dogecoin on their platform. Of course, Doge and SHIB, very similar in that community coin market. So here's another article. We'll talk about uh, a couple other interesting tidbits here. Although the amount is significant, it's a little bit lower, that 35 million, or excuse me, 35 billion number, a little bit lower than the expected. Uh, initially estimated was 40 billion, due in part to kind of just slow crypto trading right now. But of course, that could ramp up at any time, and uh, Robinhood uh, could be on a discount once they go to, uh, once they file their OP IPO next week. It says here they're going to see 55 million shares also offered at an estimated uh, cost of $32, in between $32 and $42, 
Uh, the company hopes then to raise that 2.3, somewhere in the neighborhood of 2.3, 2.5 billion. Robinhood shot uh, into the international spotlight, of course, last March when it became the center of the GME saga, as we've kind of hit on in that last article. And uh, it says here there's actually a mention of SHIB down here. So uh, the incident was the first major incidence of meme stocks. I like to call them community coins. Shares are assets whose value is driven by a community joke or meme, which in turn led to the prominence of meme coins such as Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. Now, what does all this mean for SHIB? Well, here's kind of what I think, and I just want to kind of talk right at you here, and I'll pull up the chart here just so you can see that in the background. So here's what I think this means for SHIB. I think Robinhood obviously has some things on their plate right now. They're going through some legal battles. Once they get that behind them, now they're heading toward the IPO next week. Once they file for the IPO, and they're a publicly traded company, I think Vlad and company are going to look at crypto as a potential opportunity to make them a whole lot more money. Okay, here's why. All you have to do is do a little bit of digging. Google this yourself. Uh, Robinhood, how much money they made on Dogecoin in 2020 and 2021. One asset class, one. Uh, and of course, it is in the community-based uh, asset class, much you know, like uh, Shiba Inu is. So with that being said, I think the type of investor that is there on Robinhood would heavily invest in Shiba Inu, even more so than the likes of eToro and Coinbase, in my opinion. Again, not a financial advisor here, just for entertainment, informational purposes only. Or, uh, you know, and here's the other thing, too, with Robinhood. They're going to continue to be in the public's eye moving forward, right? Even with all of these, you know, cases, legal cases they're going through, they've seen record-breaking people adding assets using their platform. So they continue to be a dominant place for retail investors amid all the you know, nonsense going on behind the scenes and the lawsuits. People still like the platform. And I think they're going to continue to use it, especially once they're a publicly traded company. That's just my two cents. And I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. So the answer to the question is yes. I think in due time, Shiba Inu will be added to Robinhood. But I think it'll probably be sometime after Coinbase, sometime after eToro, Robinhood just uh, has a few other things on their plate right now that they need to, you know, check that box and move forward before they can think about adding more assets. I don't think SHIB will be the only asset added either. I think they're going to get heavily involved in crypto because as of right now, at least in the United States, they've only got, I think, five. They've got Litecoin, Ethereum, uh, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, and Dogecoin. Uh, to my knowledge, they've only got those five. So I think eventually they will add a lot more and, uh, that I think that'll be good for SHIB because it'll open it up to a brand new audience and an audience that has already been proven to enjoy this space in terms of the community-based coins. So one last thing before we get out of here, uh, come on over to our private uh, Discord Patreon page. Check this out and uh, let me know if you have any questions. We'd love to have you join. And um, I'm going to drop this in the description and also I'll pin it as the top comment too. And again, reach out to me if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.